still watching over silent flocks by night. Behold, throughout the heavens, it shone a holy light. The shepherds feared and trembled when low above. Earth bring out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. We're singing, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. Uh, our verse for you, my verse for you, is out of John, John 8, verse 12. And this is what it says. Jesus spoke to all the people once more and he said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have all the light that you possibly could need. All right, I love this verse. Go tell it on the mountain. And you might think it's just a kid's song. I'm here to tell you it's not just a kid's song. This is a great song. One of the things that it reminds me of is the joy that there should be and that there is in following Jesus. There's so much joy that's out there in following Jesus. And the thing about Go Tell It on the Mountain is it's really simple, it's really catchy, but that's why I love it because it should be the the driving anthem of all of our lives. I don't know if you get like this or not, but sometimes I get weird and in my own head about talking to people, about coming to church. Mostly for me, if I'm honest, it's because I work at a church. And so I think to myself, I second guess, I'm like, is that weird? Should I do that? Should I not do that? But recently I had a friend check me on that and graciously correct me and just say, Tim, that doesn't really matter. If you're kind, you're respectful, but you talk about what you're passionate about, that's all they really care about. That's what people really care about. So I feel like, I don't know if, I, if you needed to hear that. I needed to hear that. And I'm sure somebody here needs to hear that as well. I don't know if you feel like there's this tension inside of you. Should you invite someone? Should you tell people about who Jesus is? What he's doing in your life? Yes. Absolutely yes. Yes. My, uh, my son, he's in second grade. And he did this this past week. He was talking to one of his classmates. And he invited them just on a whim and said, hey, you should come to church with me. Um, And they showed up this weekend. And not just them, but their family was here as well. And man, that got me because if a second grader can be so, so serious, but also so joyful in their response and their invitation to just showing up to church, I have no excuse. We really have no excuse to hold back. Um, so that's my hope and that's my, my, my calling even for you today is find someone that you can be joyful with and share it, not in a weird way, but just share what Jesus is doing. And in that way, all of us who are followers of Jesus, we're living out this truth. Let me pray for you. 
God, thank you for today. Thank you for each one of my friends who are here, each one of them who are hearing these words. God, thank you that we can have joy to tell other people about you because we are passionate about you. You are the person who changes our lives. You are the person who changes our eternity. And our friends and our families uh, need to hear about that. We love you, Lord, and I pray that you would give us boldness and great opportunities. In your name, amen.